everybody welcome back to my channel sorry it's been a crazy 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 drive and um, it's absolutely pouring down I don't know if and it's really 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 windy but yeah we are in Ikea It's been well early on a journey to get here, I tell you. Oh my God, the motorway was just horrendous. Um, they were queuing, so I came off and then realised that... I dropped Toby off at preschool and then I only realised I came off the motorway, came back to like go round and then I thought it only opens at 10 anyway. So I would have got here at night, well, about half nine and it wouldn't have been open. So... Um, yeah, so when I came back onto the motorway about 10 15 minutes later, it, it, it all just all gone. So I was like, whoop, whoop, back on. So I'm here now. Now, I actually want to just get my main thing I want to get the three drawer Malm in white. Uh, I need some more storage in our bedroom. And they're only 40 quid. So I'm going to get one of them, possibly a couple more bits. Um, yeah, so I'm going to dash in through the rain. So yeah, I might see you in there. Bye. See you shortly. I've got an ensuite for the book. Like a secret hole hiding the door. Have a shower. Hold some hands. I don't know if you can hear that, but the snoring. <laughs> this is what I'm after. The Malm set of three foot pounds. That's what I'm here for. Well guys, mission accomplished. 
I've got the drawers and I've got a couple of bits so it's now five past eleven so I've plenty of time to get back for picking up Toby. If I have time I'll try and put it together before I pick Toby up from preschool. As I am a wizard at Ikea furniture and I'll malm like the back of my hand or if not I'll have to do it probably when he's napping or maybe a bit later but I'll show you um, some of my other bits that I got when I get back. All right see you in a bit. Wish me luck for the journey home. <laughs> Bye! Right guys, I'm home. I'm absolutely knackered because this beast weighs a ton. So I've just had to slide it up the stairs. Anyway, so, oh, this is where I want it to go. Just as you come into the bedroom, there was a little space here. So I thought it would fit just nice here. So it is now 10 to 12. I don't need to go and get Toby till half past one. So I'll see how much I can get done. Wish me luck. Chuffed. It would have taken, it wouldn't have taken me as long, but I put some of the battens on the wrong way round. Put bat on back to front, stupid me. So yeah, that's all done now. So I've got five minutes for a wee, and then I can go and get Toby. Right, everyone. Now all my uh, building's done. I can actually show you the little bits that I got after watching me put the uh, mound drawers together, which I'm really chuffed with. So 
Right, so the first thing, what did I pick up first? Yeah, it was only a pound. It's a bit boring, but I wanted a tray to go inside um, my drawers in my kitchen for some of my utensils. It gets really messy very quickly. So for a pound, I can just put like my spatulas and things like that in there and some little bits in there, just try and keep it a little bit more organised. That's just for the kitchen drawer. And then the next thing I saw, I got them in two sizes because they were quite pretty. You know the stackers that you put in your shelves? You can either use them for, say, your plates and your bowls so that you can stack more things up. Well, these are called, is it Varia? Varia, but they're a lot prettier, they're in white and they've got this nice pattern on the top and then all it does is obviously the sides come down and it's a stand to slide in your shelves, in your cupboards and you can stand stuff on top and then put stuff like underneath and you've got more storage space. So I was going to use them for that in my kitchen because I've got a metal, just a metal one and it's a bit flimsy so I thought that would look a bit nice when you open the cupboard doors and that was only £2 and then I got a bigger version and the bigger version you can see on the diagram a bit better what it's meant to do if you see there so i got a bigger version as well i could put a bigger one somewhere in my kitchen cupboards in the at the end if i can't find them anywhere i thought it would look nice just even as a little tray now that i've got my new drawers which are next to me here i could even use it on my drawers as a display table but undecided with that but that's my initial use to, to go in my cupboards then I just picked up, um, I've made, Toby's got some wooden train track and when he plays with it downstairs, it, it doesn't sit flush so the trains, they don't run smoothly so Matt had a piece of wood cut at work for me and last night I glued it all down and it stayed stuck so we're going to go and play with that when I finish filming this. So to go with that I've got this, is it Lillabo? Lillabo and it's like a little magnetic like a crane so I'm going to stick that probably on as well because he loves like I said anything to do with trains and cars and things like that so I got that to um, match his train track and that was seven pounds and for this was just a boring a 30 by 40 cushion inner and is it Edaf oh Edafelicia Felicia anyway it's a cushion it's a cushion in there to me you and the rest of the world now i think it was one pound 80 and i've got it because if i'm either going to order a cushion cover that i've seen on the wish app if i don't do that i've got some leftover crushed velvet from when i did a diy my mum and dad helped me make a pelmet for my window at the top of the stairs and have plenty of leftover fabric so I'm either going to order the cushion cover that I've seen or I'm going to make one and I'm going to make it into this size I think so not decided yet so that was that then I've seen these before these are the Godafton Godafton and they're LED candles but they're in the shade a nice shade of pink and this will go in my house so I wanted these either again if we're in the front room or I might now I've got this set of drawers at the Poundland haul that I did I'll link below I got some candle holders so I'm tempted to put them on them because it's a big one and a small one they might look nice together on, my, on the top of my set of drawers on display there and then the last thing I got I've already got one of these in my bathroom but they're just for the price the six pounds and it's just like a an eye a fake ivy plant they're brilliant they're just they're just so many I know so many people that have got them and um, when they're up in a nice pot they look like the real deal so I think I'm going, I'm going to either put this in my bedroom or I'm going to put it in the front room somewhere or the kitchen. But I wanted another one because I was so pleased with the one in the bathroom. I wanted another one somewhere. So yeah, that's that. So yeah, that was just a few bits that I got. And oh, hang on, I'll show you. That, if you've not seen it, that's the candle holder. I've just put a pink candle on there. So I might put one of those pink candles on there. Thank you so much for all watching. I enjoyed taking you with me and I managed to go to Ikea, get the drawers, come home, build them, all before I went and go pick my son up from preschool. I'm good. If you like this video, please give it a great big thumbs up and click the thumbs up button below. And if you would like to subscribe, as I always say, that would be totally awesome. Thanks everybody. Thanks very much again for watching and see you all in the next video. Bye.
Mwah.